Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Ruled Waves as Great Britain, episode number 15. We are <laughs> deep into, well, it's essentially World War, right? Even if Germany doesn't get involved, which almost certainly they will. Uh, we're at war with, like, look, geographically, probably two-thirds of the world. <laughs> I mean, uh, two-thirds of the world is involved in war, because part of that's us, but... Um, things have not been going well as far as fleet battles. I'm glad I, I did take like a, a couple days break before recording this one. And I, I just, I, I don't want to be frustrated on camera because it, it doesn't make sense to do that. Normally I would just stop playing the game for a bit. Um, that usually winds up being a, a lost save game file. But I'm glad I did take that break anyways just to kind of get some fresh air <laughs> uh, about the game. So I'm back with a very positive spirit, and I'm really looking forward to this war. If we can get a few fleet battles, it's going to be very hard to stay not blockaded if Germany goes to war. I'm not actually sure how the mechanics work if their ships combined for a blockade total, which I have to say would be unfortunate, but would also make sense. Um, I'm not sure. So we'll just figure it out. And I'm still crossing my fingers. We did have a terrible submarine sinking of one of our dreadnoughts, which is... The only good news you can say about that is for some unexplicable reason, it doesn't count as a victory point uh, gain or loss when those kind of submarine events happen. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're trying to win a war by submarines, you almost certainly have to wait for the enemy to collapse. Um, your submarines will almost do no contribution in terms of victory points. I mean, they'll do their normal convoy raiding stuff, but um, that's usually peanuts compared to uh, the big battles and stuff so anyways fingers crossed we get some good battles going on here we're gonna have a lot of that our forces are fi fighting valiantly in uh, the Caribbean at least we have a few more of our battleships back I'm gonna say only the Navy can win this war which is really true oh my goodness well that's definitely one way to start out we need a new dreadnought then we just need a new dreadnought we need it today we need it yesterday we need it well, we need to get a fleet battle going before we can make any use of our dreadnoughts. And I've actually... Oh, so we're blockading France now. Interesting. This is new. And we're still not at war with... Still not at war with Germany. We've held on for one more... Okay, this is bad. I'm uh, So one of the things I was kind of thinking about in my uh, brief amount of time away from the game was... How can I combat this terrible fleet situation. Okay, the royalty back at it. Um, I don't have my sticky notes out. Somebody said, just put a sticky note on your monitor so you make sure you do the... Uh, I, I probably, I have a tendency to ignore my common surroundings. Of, um, if something's there statically for over like an hour, it just becomes part of the background. I'm not sure it would help, but it'd be something. No objectives, so no defense, just I guess battle. Where are we? Well, we're close to the invasion site we'll probably turn to port as soon as we can because i suspect we'll be oh my god we are defending uh convoys okay well that's less good um let's just go up to 18. they have the wind advantage we'll just cut back towards port immediately uh that's probably the battle cruiser or another light cruiser it could be light cruiser light cruiser as a DD. Well, that's probably a light cruiser then. It's actually the Denver class light cruiser, yes. Okay, that's one we want to get in and sink. Let's see if we can really pour on the steam and get back before their inevitable appearance of the battle cruisers. Um, and they also are going to have the wind advantage. So let's just see if we can track them down in time before everything goes all pear shaped. And what I mean by that is if their reinforcements show up. So far, it's not looking bad. Okay, what's our torpedo range? Oh god, we're way, way, way in torpedo range. So we're gonna probably have to do a little bit of uh, firing from a distance just to avoid getting torpedoed. All right, let's take the wind advantage. If this isn't truly what we're facing, then let's just sink a light cruiser and go home. That'd be a great victory for us. Now the Denver class I thought was 21 knots. Yet she's acting as if she can run away. We've already hit her a few times. I'm surprised that hasn't done some serious damage. Well, let's just pursue. Uh, unknown ship is... Okay. 
Well, we'll we're going to end up sacrificing every ship over there to hunt down this Denver class. Uh, that's for darn sure. We don't want to be involved with those ships that are wrecking every single one of our merchants over there. Uh, it's kind of like a sad thing from a from a war, like from a loss of life standpoint. It's not an ideal decision, but it certainly is the right decision from a victory point standpoint, and that's what we're really trying to grind out here. Um, this De Denver class, for being only a ship with 3,100 tons, has taken countless hits, like a 10-inch... Few, a few more 10 inches, maybe three, four to total 10 inches, and then maybe like five, six inch shots. That seems like enough to really do some damage, but she's holding on valiantly. Have to tip our hat to her crew. Let's speed this up a little bit. I think that it's, there's, it's all over, but the crying over here. We'll go down to cruise speed just not to tax our engines anymore. We know the Denver is a goner. We're just gonna try to stay in her wake. I mean, we, we, I just saw, like, a bunch of hits. Surely, she's going down, right? We're still hitting her with our 10-inch guns. It's good to get it. Oh, now she's on fire. Even What's what's even better? Um, it's good to get the... Um, yeah, front guns firing first anyway, because uh, when we're retreating, we're only going to be firing with our rear. <laughs> so, that's another two 10-inch shells. I assume one of them, oh god, unknown contact, okay, crank up the speed, get behind the Denver, and run away. These are the ones we are trying to run from, and will need to continue to run from. Hopefully the smoke between the Denver and us will give us a small amount of time to get away, and here we go. Okay, please get out of there, please get out of there, please get out of there. And royalty, you're just breaking for port at this point. Alright, I think... Do we have... Um, we'll turn on new sighting so that we... Uh, stuff does pause on our way back to port. The Denver class is still flaming. I guess this is some kind of bug. You can see ships. I don't know if it's updated, though. It, it appears to be updating, though. We'll see if the fire goes out that we know it is updating. Maybe it's just old information. So that was a nice battle. Um, yeah, okay, our transport ships are all probably all dead, but I think that even all of them doesn't make up for the fact that we sank a light cruiser. Even one as pathetic as the Denver. We don't have... I don't... I don't think we have any um, transport ships left. <laughs> all right, let's go to the ultra fast. There it is. Um, a marginal victory for us. They did sink all of our transports, but look at this. They had two battle cruisers, two battleships, uh, three total light cruisers, and four destroyers against a like an armored cruiser. Um, these just just impossible odds that were being given here, and still managing to squeak out these minor victories, which is important considering that's in defense of our um, the invasion over there. However, uh, okay, so I didn't really finish my thought. I was giving a little bit of thought to what to do about the situation when you're being so heavily outnumbered in every engagement. And I think what I want to do is send my battleships everywhere. Um, if it comes down to a fleet battle, I'll have to just fight with the Hornblower class, which is not ideal. Of course, I would rather, much rather the Renown. Oh, actually, I can't send the Renown because it doesn't have secondaries, so it actually is impossible. I, what I was thinking of doing is just making... Getting our best ships over here uh, and letting them fight every battle that the that is fought um, at Trinidad. Basically moving our dreadnoughts over there. But they don't have any secondaries. I was just thinking, put them in. Don't even leave like cruisers over there. Just have the dreadnoughts. That's it. And that, that was my idea. I think this is the problem with playing Great Britain. A lot of people think, oh, they're really easy to play. But especially with this uh, non-historical budget, which we... We're playing with the regular game budget, which great gives a huge boost to everyone else. Um, you don't have that ship superiority where you can actually send enough... I don't know, I, I just I have this feeling that Great Britain is actually more challenging than, um, than, we f than one would imagine. Uh, how are we going to combat this, though? Because I do want to send... 
if we send battleships over, they'll be caught by the dreadnoughts. It's just, it's not a good situation at all. At least we're blockading France, so we'll get points. I think we are getting points for that. 260, good. Um, but the thing with the foreign stations is so challenging that we can't actually send anybody over there. It's like, I'd like to just have two fleets right now. <laughs> Northern Europe and the Caribbean. But I can't do that, because uh, that will cause our unrest level to just increase dramatically. That said, let's see if we can possibly remove any anybody from anywhere. Um, the Caribbean is where we can remove people. Well, that's where I want people to go, so that's not the right thing. Um, Southeast Asia has a few too many. Let's see if we can move a armored cruiser back from Southeast Asia. We can, the Exeter. Okay, you're being recalled, Exeter. We want you to start making your way home. Actually, go to the Caribbean. How are you going to go there? You're going to go good to the west. I was hoping he wouldn't try to move around the southern tip of South America. Cape Horn is a much better option, I think, in our in this situation. Okay, good. I think that's the best we're going to be able to do. 16-inch guns is amazing. I'd love to get those started right away. We don't have the money to do it. When this war ends, we also will continue to not have the money to do it. What we're waiting for, I think, is for France to fall. They were the first nation in, so their unrest is probably rising significantly. And we can hope that this war comes to a, an earlier conclusion. Um, it will also drop our tensions with Germany back down. So we, what this the funds right now, our yearly budget is probably insane. Let's just take a look. Actually, somehow below the United States. I, I'm extremely confused by this. We have, um, we're at war with two other nations. We know our budget is better than the United States. It usually rounds the corner around 19, I think, okay, I don't remember when, but it's in the late 1910s. Almost 1920 is when the uh, United States, I think, gets a larger budget. But we've already taken some lands from them, so they shouldn't have their full budget available. All right, anyway, let's just hope that Trinidad holds on one more turn. I don't know what to do. Okay, Indian Ocean, there's nothing there. Can we pull somebody away from the Indian Ocean? No. Ah. Okay, I think actually the armored cruisers, no, their time is also up. I was thinking of maybe leaving, is there anything in the Indian Ocean? Yeah, there is. Okay, so there's some stuff we can try to take over while we're there. Hopefully, instead, we'll get the invasion going on in Southeast Asia. That would be great. I don't know if it's the number of battleships which matters in terms of um, invasion count. I th I'm guessing so. So maybe it'd be smart for us to actually move the battleship we have here over to Southeast Asia and just leave it, the Indian Ocean patrolled only by our armored cruiser. Which would lessen the chance, obviously, of, well, I think, diminish down to zero our chance of invasion here, but hopefully increase our invasion chance here. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to go one more turn as we are. I don't know what to do about the Caribbean, though. It's just, I need my best ships there, but that would take them away from, okay, who's the bigger threat? France has four dreadnoughts, no battle cruisers. The United States has 10 dreadnoughts, five battle cruisers. I think it's pretty clear. I think even the French battle cruiser is worse. Our dreadnought is worse. Um, yeah, this is not a great one. I think that we, uh, that's a lot of armor though. We might even be able to sink that with our horn blower. I mean, we could give it a hell of a shot. Let's do it. All right, we're going crazy mode. We are moving the fleet. In a bold move, Admiral Tortuga has sent the Dreadnought fleet. Uh, we have to need to make sure that we're still blockading, though. This is important before we go getting everything wrecked. Oh, yeah, we have... What the hell? Germany has 513 points? My god, they have 22 battleships. Germany is a serious threat. My god, <laughs> if we go to war with them, we're <laughs> we may just be blockaded indefinitely. In which case, if you're being blockaded a little, you might as well be blockaded a lot. We'll pull all of our forces out of Northern Europe. Except for maybe some token fleet battle. Hopefully fleet battle type fleet. We'll move them all into the Caribbean. Anyway, that's what we'll just knock on wood. Huh? That we don't have a fight with Germany quite yet. 
Otherwise, France, it's so close. In fact, according to this total, 209 to 205, we don't have enough points. But th this point total, I think, is the net total of all the ships available. Um, some of them could be on rating, and we don't have any on rating. So every ship that they count there is one that's available. So we won't move any fleet. We want to continue the blockade. Oh, man, we won every battle. Okay, we lost one, I think. We lost one battle in Trinidad, but we won most of them, and we still lost Trinidad. That's so frustrating to me. I don't know what else we could have done. <sighs> okay, well, cross tech fire. Ah, uh, okay, let's fight it. We don't have a choice anyway. Man, as. <laughs> Gonna need to take another break after this episode. <laughs> Frustrations are pouring in. All right, as long as this isn't an armored cruiser or um, a light cruiser, I mean a, a battle cruiser, we'll, we'll be okay. So I would like a light cruiser fight. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, the game, come on, throw me a bone here. <laughs> come on, throw me a bone. Uh, okay, well, I think we outrun them. If we don't, we die. Looks like we're getting away. Yeah, we're pulling away. Okay, good. Yay, fun battle. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. Okay, let's uh, keep spirits high. Speaking to myself mainly. <laughs> crew morale is uh, actually doing okay, crew quality at least. Uh, let's, hope that, uh, let's hope that there's not too many setbacks. I'm just kind of disappointed. Northeast Asia, did we? Ah, uh, one of them had some kind of setback. Let's send one of our cruisers from Southeast Asia over to support. Baldrick, I know that you're supposed to be paired with the Black Adder, but is there, uh, yeah, there's one other we can send north. Man, it's a real challenge balancing all the different, I, I don't think I'll ever play Great Britain again. Maybe not even just on camera, maybe just never. <laughs> Especially the way things are going, I don't know, the game, Either doesn't like me or, uh, okay, mingle, do your normal foreign station impression. <sighs> okay, um, oh, God. They're not being blockaded anymore, France. Okay, I was gonna say we should take the Caribbean back. <laughs> Can I? Oh, I don't even know how peace actions go with multiple. I think you just decide peace with the person who collapses, and then you can't even take your colonies from the other one back. I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, that unless we force the government of the U.S. to collapse or get peace terms with them, we don't actually get this colony back. Enemies of USA? What? Okay, they have. Uh, I'm sure this is gonna be a light cruiser. Okay, this is, we really gotta do something about these compositions though. It's just, it's not good at all. And we're barely ahead on victory points, but the constant, okay, good. This is good, let's turn you back into screen actually. you to core even all right now they shouldn't if this is a battle cruiser that's the only situation where things are really going to go poorly um let's get you to increase the squad max we want to stay at this angle though let's see what we have let's 
keep hounding them over to the to the west. Oh wow, we're actually losing contact with them. But we just need to keep them out of Marseille and then we're okay. <laughs> Rhymes. I mean, if they get back to port, that's bad, right? Then we don't have a chance to sink them. All right, widen the search. Did I? Yeah, good. There they are. Okay, let's unwiden the search now that we are. In contact with the enemy once again. Just keep them out of Marseille, that's the thing. The glory class. Come on, bird of prey, please catch up, please catch up. Keep them out, keep them out of Marseille. Come on. Okay, good, Albion. You actually have to go squad max. We have to close and... Doesn't matter if we take damage, which we are. Actually, she's not doing a very good job of penetrating. She had a lot of hits there. Oh, she only has 7-inch guns. Okay, that's... But she has good armor, but... We just have to keep her out of the protection of the harbor. While the bird of prey comes up very quickly. Lots of... Scoring lots of hits. Let's do a little evasive maneuvering, just in case. Torpedoes. Certainly something that could end our day. Bird of prey still not close enough, I think, to engage. Not quite. Oh, yes, actually. That's the range. So she's in range. We just need the Albion to keep pulling away a bit, actually, because we want to cycle our armored cruisers out. It would be even better if we don't take significant damage with the Albion at all. So let's pull her back even more. Ah, that's what I thought the glory would actually start edging in then. Well, uh, we're both running out of real estate here, so it's going to be interesting to see. Let's actually go head on. Um, this will narrow our profile, force her to do something. All the while, giving the bird of prey time to catch up. Okay. Fade back. And bird of prey, your turn. Go ahead and step in. Is she on fire? No. Heavy damage, though. Okay. Let's go back down to cruise with the Albion. She's just going to cruise. I mean, literally just going to cruise from... Uh, from outside of range, basically, just contributing where she can, but mainly acting as a blocking force. And the bird prey is going to come in, close, and get the turret jam. Darn it, the front one, of course, the one we need. Uh, she's going to try to finish the job. <laughs> the bird prey is the one taking the damage. Very impressive for the glory class to actually still be hitting. Oh, okay, that's the structure. We don't really care about that. I'm not even going to engage that. We could, but it's probably not worth it. There's a few more hits. Surely this glory class is on her last limbs. Surely. Wisely at least trying to lead us into the coastal batteries, but... Um, I'm willing to take the penalty of... There, there we go. Come on, please pause. We're going to fire from a distance because I don't want to be torpedoed. In fact, I will actually encourage torpedo launching ourselves now that she's dead stopped. Let the Albion close in as well, but outside of torpedo range because she's a little bit slower. Okay, good. So hopefully this is the end of this engagement after we sink her completely. There it is. Very good. So both of our ships took light damage. I don't think that's enough to get take them out of the fight for next month. Let's find out. And it's another 1,000. It puts us... Actually, we were barely ahead, huh? So we have another 1,000, which is going to just essentially increase our cushion. Oh my gosh, this is just so nerve-wracking. It's only been 24 minutes, but I already feel like calling the episode to a close. Let's try to go one more month. Okay, uh, Mingle, I need you to move somewhere and then unmove just so you don't actually move. <sighs> a few game mechanics could be could serve to be improved. Um, basically, if you put somebody on foreign station and you take them off, they actually return next turn anyway. Back to, oh man, Bird of Prey actually needs two months. Please don't tell me, huh? Interesting. The Exeter just 
happen to be in the area? No. Where's the... Oh, here we go, Albion, okay. <laughs> I was like, who was with the Bird of Prey? So the Albion is now elite status, our first vessel to reach this, um, recently at least. I think we had a few others in the previous wars, but... Okay, well, let's. I'm just so nervous to press next turn because the frustrations, they're coming, I can feel them. That's okay. Just uh, 18 more months before we have the fortune classes out. I really, those are so necessary. We need them yesterday. <laughs> we need a new Dreadnought class yesterday, but... Alright, where are we missing ships now? The Mediterranean. Okay, well, uh, Exeter, your arrival is quite fortuitous. You will now go to the Mediterranean. Man, we're being invaded somewhere else. I hate this. I hate this. I hate it. I I hate it. I hate it. Okay, so... We didn't move our battleship over. We could, though. The Exeter just has to stay there. Yeah, let's kind of... Let's try to even the odds in terms of... Indian Ocean, Battleship, Avenger, please move to the Southeast Asia. And I think it is based on, okay, whoops, Southeast Asia, Southeast Asia. All right, uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. The The people, we have low unrest. We're going to do it. We're going in. I, I just don't, I can't sit by, I cannot sit idly by and watch them wreck us. Just one little piece at a time. So the entire fleet is moving. I just, I feel helpless, and in your helplessness, sometimes you do things which are crazy. And that is what's happening right here. Um, okay, we won't move a few of the ships which are... Last four. Which are just in fair condition. Those which are in fair condition will not move. They will hold the fort, but really I'm sure we'll be, we'll be blockaded. Um, I'm actually going to turn down my intel effort on Germany because I'm a little worried about this. So hopefully we can counter their fleet. Um, well, let's just send everything. I mean, you guys are in good shape. Go. Just get over there. And maybe if we're lucky, we not only can beat the American fleet, but we can counter invade, invade something else. So who else? I mean, basically everyone who's in, <laughs> we're leaving the entire fleet is sallying forth. We have the Albion in Northern Europe and she is, no, no, sorry, the Kestrel. Is she the only, she is, well, I'll leave you here to raid. And actually, that's what we'll do with the... How many light cruisers do we have in on the Caribbean? We have a few... A three Achilles class. It's just not enough. Let's get a few more, and then we'll set the rest to raiding. We're just going to do raiding. We're going to completely change up our tactics. I, I really don't know. How, this could go really poorly for us, but... Um, I'm at the end of my rope, so to speak. I just feel like we have to do something to try to change up this battle. We're doing the blockade. That's been working well. We're definitely sinking ships slowly. Okay, one of you, Swirling Tides, you will be a raider for, I mean, sorry, foreign stations for a moment, just to clear up this confusion about foreign tonnage. Uh, okay, and now next turn. I feel like it's really appropriate to put a revolutionary into France. So I think we'll give him safe passage. Let's do it. Oh man, <laughs> our fortunes are so poor. <laughs> oh my gosh, we lost the Titanic sinking to a mine. If they say it was a mine, it was probably just an iceberg floating in the Caribbean. It's possible, I think, for icebergs to actually break off from the um, Arctic Circle and float as far south. Maybe not the Caribbean, but maybe. Um, okay, a lot of bad things. But an enemy coastal patrol battle in support of... Seems really high for Bermuda. Oh, Bermuda! We're in the wrong area! Oh my god. But actually, the enemy forces are really minor. I, I want to decline this because I want it to be a fleet battle, but... Here we go. Let's do, let's accept it because it's trying to save Bermuda yet again. And we only have two light cruisers. 
Will this little gambit work, by the way, with the moving the fleet? I don't think so. Especially because they're invading Bermuda, not where I expected. Uh, let's go one turn. Are we... Do we care about those merchants? I don't know. Certainly after this, I need to add more guns to Bermuda. I thought... I don't even know how many we have here, but it's not enough. All right, let's just keep going until we run into... What, what kind of ships are you? Ah, yes, good, the Achilles. And you are still coal firing, though. I believe. 24 knots, yeah, surely. So we won't increase your speed quite yet. We need them close to port so that they can duck and hide. Worst case scenario. Okay, and then we'll just wait to spot an enemy. We have done so. We have the wind advantage. Raise steam. What do we have here? Let's hide behind our patrol boat. It seems cowardly, but... Fire started on the first shot. Talk about unlucky. Well, fire extinguished immediately. A Baltimore class, four inch. Okay, close. Immediately close on this. Close on this POS. 25 knots. She actually can outrun us. Probably will. Let's just hope that we can get enough guns firing at her. We are the ones taking the hits. It's unfortunate. There we go. Straighten out. Give up the wind advantage. It's fine. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's get some hits in there. Alright, fine. Let's just... Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Somebody in the comments last episode mentioned that I have some seemed to have... I think it was... Uh, Mr. Mangini said I've ratcheted up the difficulty somehow. <laughs> I kind of agree. Seems like the game got much harder suddenly. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was looking for. Let's come back down the other side. Well, she's not moving so slow yet. A few good hits though. It seems like we've damaged something critical on her. There's a few more good hits. That's plenty, good. And let's not risk anything. Good. Okay, so we are, it looks like, at least stopping their invasion of Bermuda. We are blockaded. This is all according to plan. If we're lucky, if we're lucky, well, should we just move the fleet up? Move the fleet up. Oops, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> uh, I don't actually need that, so let me just remove this. Uh, you know what, actually that's for when I stream. Maybe I'll stream again, so, but sorry about that. I don't know how that actually happened. It's supposed to be control shift page up is my hotkey. It's random, but I did not press anything near that. <laughs> so, You are all going to be taking a merry journey north. You know what? Please. Oh, god damn. All right. Let's just do this by location. Save ourselves a little bit of headache. We didn't take any... I ah, forgot to take some uh, kingfishers with me. So let's just grab a whole bunch. Okay. Meet us over in the... Uh, well, now on the East Coast. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm going to take everybody who's in the Caribbean out, except for my armored cruisers, so that if we get a fight, it's only the armored cruisers that stay. So, royalty in St. George, good luck. And I'm taking everyone else out. We're moving to the East Coast. Crazy tactics, I know, but uh, I don't know what else to do. Um, with this way, at least we will blockade the Americans and then maybe cause the Americans to, to, um, concede. 
that would be ideal. Then we can get Bermuda back. But otherwise, our Trinidad back. But we can't get Trinidad back if France is the one who surrenders. I think that's the weird game mechanics. There's a lot of bugs in this game. I'm not happy about losing Trinidad, but... Did it work? I just, I'm really... Nine ship moves from... Oh, God, they were all stopped. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the enemy torpedoes are just... We have a destroyer. No, I'm going to decline that. Come on, are you kidding me? Gah, this is the third one, so we have to take it, but... Ah, well, uh, that's unfortunate. I don't know if it worked or not. Then basically, our gambit we're being blockaded. So should we just go home? Uh, well, Bermuda's still being invaded, but we are now blockading the Americans. So let's see. We twenty six, two hundred sixty, two hundred thirty. Kind of strange. Why do they get more than us? Hmm. So we'll stick around one more month. Yes. Okay, time to come home. Revolutionary ideas from France are infecting our workers and soldiers. Uh, unrest is now to three. A cruiser battle. I I don't like this. Hmm. It's getting down to the point where 65 victory points for declining actually matters. Large battleships, except oh, good. So we got 160 back. That's nice. And a cruiser action here. We will accept. Okay. I think I'll probably. Oh, looks like it's the Albion and bird of play, bird of prey out on the prowl again. I'm gonna call this video too close here though. So we'll pick this up in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for suffering through the kind of aggravating situation that's been developing here. Uh, it hasn't been pleasant watching my colonies being picked apart. Uh, we probably can't expect too much less than that when you're at war with France and and the United States. I'm just frustrated because I, I don't think it was... Uh, the battles leading up to that were, were kind of what caused me to get upset. Oh, you're right. Uh, the, the fact that we actually won the engagements of the invasion area. Maybe it just doesn't matter if you don't have enough forces there. So... Yeah. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll see how things develop next next episode. And until then, thanks for watching and take care.